Hey guys, Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be checking out Ubuntu 21.04 on the Raspberry Pi 4, more specifically Wayland versus X11. So let's get started. Now, before we begin, if you want to know more details about 21.04, like updates, changes they made, comparison from 20.10 to 21.04, head over to my buddy's channel, uh, Raspberry Pi and more. I'll leave a link down in the description below. He did a very good video on the comparison between the two, as well as the software that you get uh, on the new 21.04. Now, what we're going to be checking out today is more specifically the X11 versus Wayland, which is what I'm more excited about because I've been waiting for this to come out because of the Wayland integration. Now, if you guys didn't know, most of the Raspbian desktops, uh, Debian, Ubuntu 2010, Manjaro, and a bunch of other operating systems still runs on X11. While X11 is a pretty good renderer, it does have this plague or this issue of tearing. Even on this big machine that I have over here, which is a Ryzen 7, I still get screen tearing if I'm using X11. And that's just the software implementation of the renderer. Now, Wayland was introduced to combat that issue especially for t screen tearing. Their model is every frame is perfect, which means every application should be able to control the rendering enough so you don't get the tearing or the, the input lag that you would see on the X11. So if you're planning to use Ubuntu 2104 or any operating systems as a desktop environment, it's best to switch over to Wayland so you can avoid the tearing problem. So I'm going to be showing you some examples and test it out basically. To install the latest you want to, all you have to do is download the latest Raspberry Pi imager and from the custom list you should be able to select Ubuntu 21.04 and that is it. Uh, and you could select the version that you need, Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4, or Pi 400. Anyone is fine. After you get it installed, uh, you basically have the desktop image ready to go. So um, to check this out right now, I am on, let's find out. I'm gonna hit about, and I am on X11 right now, and I pre-downloaded a screen tearing video that you guys could check out. So give me a second and I'll pop that over. Now I'm gonna open up uh, VLC, which I already pre-downloaded. And you guys always wonder why it's so responsive for me compared to like you guys when you're trying to experience it. Two things you really need to know is overclocking. Uh, make sure you have the max frequency around two gigahertz, minimum frequency around one gigahertz for the arm, and also using an SSD. The SSD makes a huge difference because comparison to the SD card, you will get tons more responsiveness and it's just a better, better experience if you're gonna go, uh, if you're gonna be using this as a desktop, just switch over to SSD. All right, so here we have uh, our VLC media player and this is X11. So what I'm gonna be showing you is the tearing issue. Uh, let me open a file screen tearing file and what i'm going to do is basically just go render the uh, speed playback faster faster and here we go okay what you notice is like right now it's kind of tearing it's smooth right now but as soon as i use my mouse you see that like it, it lags now it stopped lagging once i move my mouse lagging move my mouse again it lags you see that's what causes the screen tearing then it, it I'll show you a big quick glimpse that it just did. And this plagues us using X11 all the time, whether you're moving some windows around and it has to load something into the frame, it, it runs into a lot of tearing issues, especially if you're playing games. So now I'm gonna switch over to um, Wayland. So what you do is log off and where you're about to log back in before you type in your password, there's a gear icon on the bottom right, switch that over to the regular Ubuntu log in and at this point it should be Wayland. Now Wayland actually has the Wayland actually does uh Wayland actually does pretty good on fractional scaling as well. So if you guys are planning to use a bigger monitor or bigger resolution, uh fractional scaling does work very well on Wayland. Here I'm gonna go to show applications and about and here we have it windowing system Wayland. And we're going to open up VLC like we did before. Go over to media, open the same file. And I am actually going to go to playback. Speed, faster, speed, faster, same as before. Maximize the screen. So you can see how like it's smooth right now, right? And if I move my mouse, it's still smooth. It doesn't run into that lag issue on the frame. 
So I'm, whatever I do, like it goes off, comes back in, goes off, comes back in. And I'll put a screen side by side comparison. You could see that this actually doesn't have that tearing issue that we run into during the X11 test. And that's, that's a huge difference, especially if you're running multiple Windows, Excels, or watching a video and you're trying to load a program, you would constantly get like a tearing or a lag issue or input lag issue on your screen. And that's, like I said, an X11 issue that we've always had. And now switching over to Wayland, I, it works perfectly fine. It actually works pretty good. As far as the experience goes, um, I haven't had much time to play around with this desktop. I only played with it for a couple of days. I was more excited to be testing out Wayland on this machine. And I haven't had much of an issue until today, which is weird because for a side note, if you guys run into this issue right now, uh, I did a quick update to it today and I'm not actually able to type in anywhere. If I was to type into my terminal, can't type. If I was to go into Firefox, um, I can't type in there as well. See nothing, I'm typing and nothing goes in there. But if I go into my menu, the keyboard works fine. You see that? I'm typing in there fine. So if you guys know what that is, I have no idea what it is. I haven't even tried Googling it, but it could be some input issue or whatnot. That's the only issue I'm running uh, with on Ubuntu 21 on Wayland, not on X11. X11 works perfectly fine, but on Wayland, I'm having this keyboard issue on certain programs, it doesn't wanna work. Anyway, uh, that is it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this little test. Uh, you could actually see the difference between using X11 and uh, Wayland on the Raspberry Pi 4. If you have any questions about this, Leave it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave.